Step away from me fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Your safe is securely suspended, son. There you are, sir. Oh, my yaking head. Everything is ready, sir. I think I'll bust you with this bus. Your sail is securely suspended, sir. I'm gonna get you. Everything is ready, sir. You muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine! Your mirror and beam spells. It's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at this count store. You haven't seen lots of magic of the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine.
Squibby. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. Did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am? Don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. There it is, the King's Scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts! What was that? I've been foolish. McTee, this place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad.
I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite a contrary feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back-scratcher. <laughs> you! What's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the Great Games. Great Games? Stand back! You'll interfere with the Rowell. Ooh, strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now, see here, I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside, I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. can hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh! You refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terraformians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes! The giant diamond of the inner elf! Mirth and be merry! I made it here first! No, not the cheese! Anything but that! Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus.
by Zack and Billy. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launch pad. Knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McDee. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety split. More like lickety splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot? Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat! Only you could sink so low! And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad. Come on, boys. One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down. Ouch! comes a 10 megaton finder's fee, McDuck. Knock it off, McDuck. Turn a profit on this, McDuck. Mr. McDean. You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, launch pad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McDee. Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So... You have decided to deliver dime, after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. <laughs> You've been in cahoots from the beginning. No, even before beginning. Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Twas me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... No wonder it was such a bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. Enough with the smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old Hasbin. Better to stick with master plan. It's much more exciting. I now summon Dracula Duck. Behold! 
Dracula Duck. I, Magic of the Spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. Build. Be careful! Cauldron is very expensive! How dare you! I will have my victory! Fight his neck! Let Groot beat you! Stop meddling and die like mad! Don't give up, you power of bat! Oh, boys, I'm so glad you're all right. We knew you'd save us, Uncle yeah, Scrooge. we knew yep, you would. we sure did. Down that hall, lads. Launch pad will be waiting to take you to safety. What about you, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, the whole place is falling apart. Magic and Glumgold still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle, Uncle Scrooge. Scrooge. Now, give me dime. Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure.
Nice try, Magica, but I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Have a lovely time together. My number one dime. Return safe and sound. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost it. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure, but we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigail, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley and Bubba. And Fenton! And Gyro! They helped us, too! <laughs> Indeed they did, lads. Now, come on. Let's head for home. Let go of me, you doddering old deadweight! Oh, pipe down, you mangy bird! It was real swell of you to give Glamgold a lift home, Mr. McD. <laughs> Aye. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinty. You can pay me back in, oh, say, three to five years. <laughs> With interest, of course. I'll get you for this, McDuck. Mark my words. <sighs> now, there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, can we each get our own cone this time, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, why not? I'm in a generous mood today. In fact, each of you can even get a cone with ice cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> 